Today we are going to take a quick look at the result grid of Oracle SQL Developer. The first thing to notice is that by default, SQL Developer will reuse the result grid. So, every time you run a new query, the results from the previous one will be lost. This might be convenient in many cases, but sometimes that is not what you want. So, there are several ways you can prevent that from happening. First, you can click on this push pin icon here, which will pin the current results, so that when you run a new query, a new result grid will be created and you will not lose the previous one. Another thing you can do is to right-click on the title of the tab and rename it. This will not only automatically pin these results, but will have the added benefit that you know what's there, because you gave it a meaningful name, as opposed to having tabs named Query Result, Query Result 1, 2, etc. This is usually what I do, but there is a small downside. When I pin the results manually, I can hover the mouse over the tab title and it will show me a tooltip with the query that was run to get these results, whereas when I rename the tab, it will only show me the name of the tab. I can always click on the SQL button here on the results toolbar to see the query, but that is a little less efficient. And the other thing you can do if, if you always want to get your results in new tabs, is to go to the Tools menu, and then Preferences, Database, Worksheet, and select this checkbox that read, Show Query Results in New Tabs, and then OK. This will make it open a new results tab every time you run a query, even if you run the same query several times. I don't like this option, and never use it, but I know people who does, so, try it out and see if you like it. Another important thing to mention is that by default, SQL Developer will only fetch the first 50 rows of the results of the query. If you scroll down in the results and try to go below the 50th row, then it will fetch another 50 rows, and so on. So if you want to fetch all of the rows, you have to go to the end of the results, which you can do with the scroll bar, or by pressing Ctrl plus N. This value can be increased to up to 200 rows, so, if you want to change it, you can go to the Tools menu, then References, Database, Advanced and you set the new value here in the Array Fetch Size, and then click OK. The next time you run a query, it will fetch up to the number of rows you just set. What else can you do with the results grid? Well, you can drag and drop columns to change their position in the results, and you can double click on the column title to sort the results based on the value of that column. When you do that it will show this blue arrow here, to signal that the column is being used for ordering. When you double click on it the first time it will order in ascending order. If you double click on it again, it will order in descending order and if you do it again it will not apply an ordering. You can even apply more complex ordering rules if you right-click on a column title and select the Sort option. Here you can add more columns to the ordering criteria, make it ascending or descending, leaving nulls at the end or at the beginning, etc. And you can also use this dialog to delete previous ordering rules. You can also filter the results, by clicking on this filter or funnel icon on the column title. For example, if I want to see only the employees from the department with ID 20, I can click on the department underscore id columns filter icon and enter 20 here, and press enter, and it will apply the filter. If I want to remove that filter, I just click on the filter again and double click on the remove option that appears down here. Just keep in mind that these filter and sort operations are not done locally. What SQL Developer does is that it creates and runs a modified version of our query in which it adds an additional order by or where clause to give us the results we asked for, so, 
if your query takes a long time to produce results, using these filtering and sorting features will actually take time as well, as the query will have to be executed again, with some modifications. And that's it. Now you know how to use the result grid.